Well, hello, it is Monday, August 14th, and it is a little after 11 a.m. Um, it's so funny, I was, I was recording away and then my phone decided to restart for some reason. And then I went, well, okay, I'll take a break. I'll feed the cats. I'll get them all fooded up and then I'll, then I'll get back to this. So crazy morning. Sometimes you don't even know what to expect from your phone <laughs> so that you're able to record. Um, hi, Joe. Yeah, Joe was not around for the morning sale, but he has decided to, um, yeah, he's decided to join us. Hi there. Here, look in the camera. Hi. Hi. Oops, where's your face? <laughs> There's his face. All right. Uh, so morning sale is concluded. Yeah, I know. I left your food over there in your spot where you were standing. Yeah. Yeah. Hard, hard to find. Um, but uh, morning sale uh, has wrapped up and I'll be doing another sale later on today with Jen. Uh, you know we do it every Monday uh, at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, so for the morning sale, let's talk about what sold, what is still available. And, um, and I actually have some what sold on Sunday also. <sighs> yeah, I know. How'd you get, how'd you get one of your hairs all the way right over there? Uh, but I brought 37 items to the sale and I sold 27 of seven of them. So 10 are still available. And actually I sold two of them right after the sale, right after the sale. I um, got notified that someone wanted two of the items that uh, were still available. So I went ahead and included those. Um, yeah, Joe's right in the middle of the table. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go, go, please. Go, go. <laughs> oh, you're going to sit there? Okay. No, you're not. Not going to sit there. <sighs> All right. This is going to be a challenge. I, um, w I'll be back. All right, let's try this again while he's eating. <laughs> I had to, had to personally escort him over to his food bowl. <sighs> it's a fun morning. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to flip the camera around and let the items that are available after the sale. Uh, so I have this little... Let's get it into focus here. This little square solitaire. So it has a clear rhinestone in there with a couple designs on the side. This is a size seven and a quarter and it is just $1. And it's not, um, here, let me, I'm gonna put that on there so you can see about how big it is. It's just when you just need a little something. There you go, size seven and a quarter, and that is one dollar. Then this one is a little bigger. It has a double row, and it's kind of a wraparound style of ring. This one is a size seven, and it is three dollars. Three dollars for the rhinestone ring, size seven. Then uh, this beaded bracelet it is on a stretchy band lavender colored beads and this really pretty metal charm with a flower on it that is two dollars two dollars for the stretchy bracelet i have these three uh vases here so one of them i think is marked japan maybe Two of them are marked in Japan. This one has a pretty uh, silvery gray color with flowers. It is about two and a quarter inches tall. Uh, so this one is $3. This one, oh, this one says Japan, and this feels like it's hand painted on. This nice floral design, it's on a white background. And that one is $3, still two and a quarter inches tall. Then this one is a little darker, a little darker silvery gray. 
and I think a courting couple with maybe a chaperone. I'm not sure what's going on here. There are two ladies, and I'm not sure who this person is. So it's an interesting scene. It is marked Japan. That one also about the same size, and it is a $3 also. Uh, then I have some things for the crafter here. This is called Velvet Treasures Iron On Velvet for scrapbooking and fabric. It is a little hard to see the designs on here, so I am going to flip it over where you can see them a little better. And it's just single, um, single, but um, nice little iron on, and it does come with all the instructions you need to use it. This is $2, $2 for the iron on velvet. Then also $2 are the silk angels, silk ribbon angels, where you can make this little, like a little pillow, maybe a little sachet. Little things you can stitch in here. Gives you all the instructions you need and shows you how to do all the stitching for it. And really nice step-by-step -step instructions. And of course, you can add your own personal touches to these patterns. But it's a great start. Great start and let the ideas flow. Uh, this is $2. Then I have the big book, big, big favorite stories. Um, I did just have this in the Saturday sale. I thought I would try again. Dog stories in the front part. And Black Beauty, which is a horse story in the second part so it is a it's a really big book 1946 it's got a little wear here that was seven dollars um and then the recipe book seven dollars i thought the graphics in here were outstanding great for someone to um use don't necessarily have to cut up the books you can um uh, just take pictures of them, print them out. But yeah, the graphics are just adorable. And so that was $7. And oh, and I think that was it. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, those were the 10 items uh, that sold. No, that were still available. Now let's talk about the items that sold. Let me do a little rearranging. So I had a Seattle puzzle that did sell. Beautiful Seattle. Uh, this is a kit. Teapots, teacups. You know, you know I had to grab it because of all the teacups and teapots. Uh, this is a cruel, and the um, the pattern was on there, which I loved had a set of five coloring books. These are smaller coloring books. They're about 20 pages and they're actually smaller in size also. So really easy to fit into a handbag. A decoupage book, lots of great decoupage projects. And you can see it did come with some stencils in it also. We have Teach Yourself to Embroider. And so projects and really good step-by-step -step instructions in that one. Uh, the Victorian Dining Room and the Victorian Kitchen. Great little projects for you to be able to um, kind of express your, your turn-of-the-century gal and the 16-inch uh, quilt squares in the forget-me-not pattern. That is how they look. And then there was a bigger kit. This is the friendship quilt. 
beautiful design and it comes with everything you need in it. And then I had some jewelry also, uh, some rings, some earrings, and a couple of sterling pairs back there, uh, Mickey Mouse pencils, a Scooby-Doo notepad, and then, yeah, I think those were the 27 items that I sold. All of these, the puzzle, and then all of these. And one of the vases. One of the vases in that beautiful lavender color. That sold. Uh, so then on Saturday, uh, this is an item I had in the Saturday night sale. Uh, so then on Sunday, I was contacted, asked if it was still available. It was, so it sold. And then on Sunday, I featured this fantastic mid-century modern candle holder. It is a German made in Bavaria. The lines were just so spectacular on that piece. And, uh, and that sold also. That was from a short. Uh, so yeah, so those are the sales for this morning and Sunday. Um, so, uh, I am going to get the table cleared off and organized, uh, find a spot for the items that didn't sell. Uh, of course, if you are interested in any of those items, just let me know. And, um, then I'm going to set up for the evening sale, 6 p.m. tonight. Um, I'm also working on getting, um, um, oh, and postage. Uh, I'm also working on getting Halloween ready. So I had these totes in my haul because I had them full of the community sale items that I had. Uh, but I unpacked all the community sale stuff. I put those in my vlog on that uh, came out on Sunday all of that, because I wanted to be able to use these totes uh, to organize my Halloween so that I could have two Friday night sales with Aaron and Sue. Yep, we are going to take over the Friday night sales. We're going to have Halloween sales. We're going to have two of them, I think. That's my plan so far. And then one Monday night sale. Um, so I'm trying to organize all my Halloween stuff, get it kind of separated out so I can go Friday night, Monday, Friday night, and then I'll probably have some items left over to do, uh, some Halloween in the morning also. I'm going to go this way and we are going to head over. I think if I did it the other way, I might make you dizzy. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the mail so far. I have going out today. So I've got two of the large 16 by 12 by 12 boxes. And then I've got two smaller boxes and a poly mailer. So I've got five going out so far today. Um, I will be checking my mail. Um, ooh, I see, I see a rainbow. <laughs> As, um, and if more payments come in, then I will get those packages ready to go out. Um, I usually am able to up until about an hour or so. So I still have about three hours of being able, that rainbow, being able to uh, print off if more payments come in. So I will keep watching for that. But um, as of right now, I think that is it. And I am going to go ahead and, um, yeah, get the table ready and transitioned for the evening sale. And then I will check back in with you. Uh, all right. Well, it is about seven o'clock. It's almost seven o'clock. Yeah, it's been a little while since the sale uh, ended the afternoon evening sale, depending on your time zone. And um, let's see. So I took a little food break for the cats, got the cats all fed, uh, got the water changed also because it's, it's a little warm. And so I want to make sure that the cats have cooler, fresh water. So changed all the waters 
and then I had some dinner. So I do still need to clean up the kitchen tonight. Um, I've got about half my computer work done. I need to get the other half done tonight. Uh, let's see, what else have I done? Oh, I ordered USPS pickup for tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, that is done. And uh, so let's go ahead and talk about um, the afternoon evening sale. Uh, so Jen and I bring 15 items each for the sale. I sold 10 items. So thank you very much, everyone. Uh, that was awesome. And I appreciate it. And so glad um, that everybody came and hung out with us on, uh, on Monday night. And uh, so that means five items are still available. So let's go over the five items um, and we'll talk about descriptions and price and all that good stuff. Okay, so I have, ooh, here, let's, there we go. I have this little pottery, I don't know, it's a little cup with a spout. I guess you could um, steep some tea in here. Uh, one of one of the people in the chat uh, mentioned that he thought that this very possibly was um, similar to what he's seen from the 50s and 60s made in England, which kind of makes sense. You know, you could use that as like a little one cup teapot, pour it out and then drink it from another cup. Uh, this was $8. No marking on it, but it is very well made. So that is $8. Then uh, this is a party light item. Moon and stars. And oh, I was going to... Hang on. I was going to get the... Woo. It was working. Come on, candle. There we go. I was going to get the candle there glowing in it so you could see how cool that looks with the candle glowing now this is going to work best if it is attached to the wall because um yeah there's a little bit of a height difference there if you do put it on a counter it is i'll show it this way it's going to be at a bit of an angle you can do it um if, especially if you're doing a battery operated tea light you can do that um it's nice and safe. That was $10. And then I have this beautiful leaf dish. Very delicate, beautifully decorated. This is by, ooh. Come on, Flambro out of Taiwan. I think this says Summer Rose, fine bone china made in Thailand. And this little dish, about the size of my hand. Oh, a little smaller than my hand. That is $7. Then I have the fish brooch. Uh, it is red and, and green and gold with a lot of rhinestones. And I mentioned it can be a Christmas fish. Sure it can. I think it was about two and a quarter inches long. That is $10. And then I have this uh, made in England. This one is marked made in England. Willow Wear six cup Swan brand. And this does have the blue willow pattern in it. So if you are a blue willow collector and would like a teapot that matches, here you go. And this one does come with the paperwork inside. So I really don't think this was ever used. And that was $12. All right. So let's go over the items that did sell. And I have this alabaster heart-shaped jewelry box. The green glass decanter with stopper the Tonala or Tonala vase. We've got this very interesting um, Yukago hand-painted Japan 
Um, I've just never seen one with the little dots on it. That's very interesting. A pair of Orifers from Sweden, crystal candle holders. Uh, this beautiful brooch. Uh, this one is marked LC on the back. And I'm not sure if that is Lauren Conrad or Liz Claiborne. Uh, this was a really fun piece. I had never seen this pattern before. And it is by uh, Continental, Continental Kilns. And it is Bally High. It is from the 50s. So yeah, it's got that 50s kitsch to it. Um, a veil. Yeah, don't normally find veils. Uh, but this one has such a beautiful top. And it has all of these gorgeous Aurora Borealis beads. And these are all wired, so you absolutely can rearrange them, get them all going the right direction. Uh, some Hallmark cards for the golfer. How a golfer spends his time, 50% golfing, 50% thinking about golfing, and slightly exaggerated golf stories told here. And then I had this beautiful set a, a clip-on earring and pendant set. This one has an Aurora Borealis center surrounded by clear rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, quick overview of the items that um, sold and the items that are still available. And so tonight, yes, I have to... Um, get the table cleared off. So you know the items that sold are going upstairs, the items that are still available, I will be finding somewhere here <laughs> to put them. Uh, and then I have to get set up for tomorrow morning sale. Yeah, um, I gotta think about what fun things I'm gonna bring for that sale. I have no idea yet. Um, I still need to enter my sales and um, I think that's just about it for the computer work. Um, yeah, so I have a load of laundry folded I need to put away. I have a pet load to go into the dryer. And then I need to uh, clean up the kitchen sink with all the cat food dishes and my dishes for the day. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll see what else I can get done tonight. But... That is pretty much going to wrap it up for the vlog today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.